Hey guys, it's Matt Hoots and today I am not a builder, I am a scout leader. We're going to talk about how to build and assemble a Cub Scout crossover bridge. Now our den, this is the last year that I'm the den leader for this particular den. The crossing over to Boy Scouts and we've created a bridge out of scraps from different projects. I'm going to show you how we designed it and also how to assemble it for future generations. Alright, so the actual ramp itself on the bottom probably over engineered this you don't need this much wood underneath but what we did is created this little gap right here so you can slide the structure in between here you can only return so many of these and as you get down towards the bottom there wasn't space to do that so we basically you can see that we just uh, cut those off and that way it sits right next to the ground now at the very bottom you can see that we just created that wedge right there and that lines up with the actual joist so you can see the joist and as you get to the very bottom, these line up. All right, so step one is we take the two ramps and then we put the joist in between those. Now we make sure that those line up. And what we did is we just put a little mark on here so you can see like a little pencil mark and that way we knew exactly where to line that one up. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you see these just line up, they just dry fit right into that gap that we left. And they just pull it up a little bit until you get to that one uh, mark. Now once you do this, you just kind of double check both sides. So you've got the, the mark there and you've got the mark on the other side. So we're just going to double check this side again. And then what we're going to do is just put all of the planks down real quick. That way we can make sure everything fits and then pull them off for the ceremony. So we've got 12 of these. This is the scout law and it starts with a scout is. Now what we decided to do is put a scout is on the actual first ramp. And then as we read it off in the ceremony, they're going to go ahead and put each individual plank down. And you see these are like a nice tight fit, really easy for the boys to do. We've got a couple expert Boy Scouts helping with this right now, so they know exactly the order these, 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 these go in. Now on a typical deck, we usually leave a quarter inch or a half inch in between. Now on these, these are made to be like really tight. So you're going to have each one, there's, there's, we designed this. Now you can lay it out however you want on yours, but because these are going to be laid down and you're probably not going to have anything for the spacer, we just made these where there's no gap in between. And as far as the lettering, what we did is like we found some stencils. Um, we used a Sharpie. Uh, you can use a Sharpie, you can use paint. Um, Reason, re reason I recommend using a Sharpie, it's easy for touch up. And once we had all the stencils and everything was put in, put in place, we went over it and just put a layer of sealant. Now in this case, we want something with a matte finish just so it kind of looked natural. And as you can see, right here we have the Scout Law. So, you know, Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean and reverent. And if your Scouts actually do it in the correct order, they're able to go over the bridge. They will be guided by the Scout leader, so if you want, I've got a link in the description below to see all of the different words and how to go over the ceremony. So now that we've actually got the crossover bridge in place, what we're going to do on the back side of it is build this handrail system. Now what we did with this is we've got all the signatures from all the scouts from years past all the way back to 1998 and we're going to hang these. Now what I did is I created a French cleat. So with the French cleat, they're able to easily put those in place, assemble and disassemble. So there's very minimal work. I've got a couple lag bolts in place and with the lag bolts, those are the only things you really have to worry about uh, possibly using a tool to put together. So first I'm gonna work on the base plate and what I did is just to create some feet. Now two of these have angles on them. So the, the first angle is going to be towards the right side and the other angle is going to be towards the left side and the one without an angle cut onto it is going to be in the middle. And as you can see, there's not much to it. It just snaps into place. And again, really the, the, the idea for this design was to do something that's easy to assemble, disassemble, and also is easy for storage. All 
All right, so we've got these three pieces in. The next part is to put the verticals in. Now with the verticals, what we did is we tried to make everything part of the ceremony. So we wrote, wrote on each of the verticals. And now in our particular pack, we've got lots of them. So we, we've got do your best. Each of these has four French cleats on them. And that way these, the, the signatures and the signs can easily hang on those. Now what we did here is actually created something with lag bolts. Uh, if you guys have something that's a little bit better than this, I'd love to see your idea in the description. Again, this is a free design, uh, free to all to use. Now, if you guys um, want to make improvements upon this, I'm willing to update this video over time just to show people better ways of making this. This is just something that we came up with based on inspiration from somebody else. And, um, and again, there's, there's much room for improvement if you guys have some other ideas. Now we use half inch lag bolts here, so it is pretty tight to, to get it on there. So um, and the reason we made it tight and we have like this little block next to the side is that block, what it does is it keeps it stiff on the vertical. That way once we put more weight on this, we don't have to worry about it falling over. And you can either hand tighten this or you can um, bring some pliers. Now in this case, we left the tools at home. We're trying to show you that you can do this all by hand. And again, a half inch lag bolt tighten this up seems to be holding in place we're probably going to tighten it up just a little bit more and then um, it, it should be good to go again we're doing these for each of them now we wrote in the very bottom it says do your best and scout motto so we've got the scout motto scout law and i've seen other people on the planks they've actually typed out and um, or actually handwritten the whole scout oath so there's lots, lots of different ways and things you can do to this to make it part of the fun ceremony what we recommend is to, to pull the nut and the washer off and that way when it's tight and you've got the is wood on wood and then the washer connects to the wood and there's really no function for the multiple holes here we just happened to put it in the wrong spot the first time so we re-engineered it and put the hole another hole in there so there's really no form or function for having two different holes all right now you see we've got all three up what we're going to do now is tighten them up just a little bit more and make sure that they all look good they all make sure they look like they're plumb and level and and with that that way once we hang the signs on there they're all tight and it, it looks visually appealing for the ceremony coming up so we'll pull this back and, and that's where like you might want to bring a torpedo level in or something like that and you can kind of see if it's level or not all right now that we have the brackets assembled this is going to slide underneath the bridge that way it's tight to the edge of the bridge so probably need about two scouts to go ahead and pull it towards the bridge and remember we cut this bevel on one side the reason is because this bevel is going to be held on by the ramp all right so once it's assembled you want to slide it in place you don't necessarily want to lift it up because if you if you try to lift it up then the the feet will fall out now on both sides, you're gonna see what it looks like from the back side. Again, the audience isn't gonna see this, but you can see that bevel that we cut out, it fits right underneath the ramp on both sides. And what that's gonna do is just kind of hold it up in place if anybody touches it. All right, now that we have the, the bridge assembled and we have the part of the handrail on, on, the, on the back side put up in place, what we're gonna do is check each of these for level and plumb. That way, once we stick the, the actual boards on, then it's going to look nice. All right, there's really no right or wrong way to do this, but what we're going to do is leave the, the plank off for the scouts that are actually crossing over. And as you can see with this French cleat, you've got a French cleat on the back, you've got a French cleat on the actual sign itself. And uh, what I would recommend is probably doing the ones in the bottom and then going towards the top and just hanging, hanging it on. But as you can see, it stays on, it's nice. What you probably want to do is just make sure it's a little bit level so you can see like there's a gap over here just center this a little bit more it's going to self-balance and it kind of fixes itself and this boy scout here slightly ocd so he wants to put everything in numerical order so we're going to start with 1996 the year of the olympics and what we're going to do is leave the top one on for the scouts to sign they've not signed it yet and once they sign it they're going to put that on as part of the ceremony all right everything is in place so now that we've got it set up we know that everything works we're going to take off all of the scout law 
And then as part of the ceremony, what they're going to do is take each piece, put it in place as part of the ceremony. So this is how we leave it pre-ceremony. So what the scout's going to do is take each plank, put it on here as we're reading it off. And they've got that once they build the bridge, they're going to cross over the bridge and they'll go from Cub Scouts to being Boy Scouts. Scouts, as pairs holding each end of the board, please approach the bridge from the side and lay each board as I call the words of the scout block. Trustworthy. A scout tells the truth and keeps promises. People can depend on you. Loyal. A scout shows that you care about your family, friends, scout leaders, school, and country. Thanks again for joining us on this journey as we continue to explore better building products and practices to help you have a more durable, healthy, safe, comfortable, and energy efficient home. 
for your convenience, we've uploaded other videos just like this. If you enjoyed this video, we appreciate it if you hit the like button and also hit subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any other questions about this topic.